It is my great pleasure to formally introduce the new head coach of the Florida Gators, Billy Napier. <laughs> Scared money don't make money, you know. We've got a goal here uh, to play a brand of football that creates a great sense of pride. It takes 11 people doing their job. We get to decide our future. Hey Gator fans, Hayes Carline here. Welcome to another edition of Building Back the Gators as we talk about Billy Napier and his first year with the Florida Gators. And uh, really excited today to bring you a, an interview with running back Nyquan Wright. He's somebody that brings a lot of versatility to the offense, and uh, we're excited to see what he can do this year. Over 500 yards rushing, 400 yards receiving already in his Gators career. And again, he really hasn't been on campus all that long. Uh, he's coming back from a left ankle injury that limited him in the spring. He didn't participate in the spring game, but coaches are really excited about him. Billy Napier mentioned Nyquan when he joined us a couple weeks ago on building back the Gators in terms of his leadership. So he should be a fun piece to watch. Uh, I'm joined with Graham Marsh, as always, our fantastic producer. Uh, Graham, before we hear, hear this interview, where do you see the running back core kind of falling for the Gators this year? In terms of like, like who gets the most carries and yeah. stuff, uh, Naquan will get will be the second most. It'll be Montreal Johnson first, but Na Naquan might lead the room in touches because he'll catch a lot of balls. He he's really good out of the backfield, like exceptionally good. Um, and then if Lorenzo Lingard gives you anything, you're looking at one of the best backfields in college football at that point. If if he's good, and what he was built up to be as a recruit. I mean, now you're talking about three real players between Lingard, Wright, and Montreal Johnson. Uh, but as far as, I mean, I don't know what, uh, what, what did he say his favorite memory was when you guys talked about it? I don't want to spoil the interview, but. Yeah, no, it was good. He, he sort of went into uh, just, I think, the versatility that he's been able to bring. And uh, again, so it's going to be fun to see how the running back room Shakes out. I agree with you. Uh, Nyquan, uh, I think he has a chance to go over 500 yards rushing, 500 yards receiving this year. He talks a little bit about that in the interview, about schematically the things that they're going to do with him. And, and it sounds great. It sounds like he certainly has a, a big opportunity to have a very versatile role. I want to thank our sponsor uh, on Building Back the Gators. That is Harold and Harold. Uh, I've known Holt and Julie Harold for decades, going back to our days in high school. Fantastic people. Jacksonville firm through and through. Uh, they are going to know you when you call them. They make sure to treat everybody like family, but but they're big enough. They can take on anybody. Uh, that's who you need to be with uh, if, if you've been hurt. Hopefully you won't need them, but if you have been injured or a loved one, call Harold and Harold at 251-1111. Uh, Again, that's 251-1111 for Harold and Harold. Um, Let's just get to it. Uh, you know, Nyquan is uh, is is a kid that I think really has a chance to make a big impact this year. We appreciate his time. So let's get to the interview. Here is Nyquan Wright, Florida sophomore running back. All right, we are certainly excited to be joined by sophomore running back Naquan Wright here on Building Back the Gators. And uh, Nyquan, first off, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. How's your family? Everybody everybody doing well? Yes, everyone doing great. Thanks for asking. Sure thing, sure thing. Well, tell us a little bit about your, your Gators career so far. What's been your favorite moment as is, uh, is a Gator so far in your career? Uh, obviously, my favorite moment is just running out the stadium, playing in front of 90,000 plus fans. What's that going to be like when you guys run out uh, for the opener against Utah? What what kind of environment are you expecting? Um, I'm, I'm expecting a loud crowd, packed crowd. Um, probably to be the highest, one of the highest of the season. Yeah, absolutely. And and what an opportunity for you guys right out of the gate to uh, show the country what you're capable of, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, no question. So, what's uh, tell us about Coach Napier? Uh, what what has he brought to the program? What what's different with uh, Coach Napier running the team? Uh, Coach Napier's a good guy. He came in. Uh, he's trying to get the program going in the right direction. He's a great leader. 
Uh, what I like best about him is he he get the team input on everything. He doesn't really make a move with just on his own. He kind of let the team have an input and and whatever. The, then he decides once he have at least let the team have their input. How important is that for you as a player to be able to give that input and have it be so positively received? I just think that's that's pretty huge, especially uh, being that because just just for him, he's a leader of the program. So have an opportunity to have the leaders on the team be able to speak out and voice their opinions and suggestions is a great is great. In terms of the offensive system, how does it fit your skill set? Uh, I mean, I'm very. I believe I'm very versatile. So the, I see that Coach Napier has uh, at the previous school he liked to run the ball. So I think that'd be something that I'm good at, and also I can move into the slot also. Yeah, I would imagine that's going to be a lot of fun for you. And again, that's that's where it is at, at the next level in the NFL with running backs. Uh, you've got to be able to do it all. And uh, your numbers have been, you know, really sensational from a balanced standpoint. Over 500 yards rushing in your career, over 400 yards receiving, and you're really just getting started. How, how much pride do you take in, in bringing that versatility to the offense? Uh, I just want to... Really, whatever I can do to help the team win, help us get back to our glory days and be able to compete for the SEC Championship, National Championship. So whatever whatever opportunity I get this year, I'm going to take advantage. What was it like for you going through spring, recovering from the ankle injury, but but providing that leadership and, and getting those mental reps so that uh, you, you're on point with everything in terms of your assignments? I think it, it was pretty different for me, uh, just being that watching and uh, just human nature. I wanted to go out there and compete because we had a new staff, so I wanted to show what I can do, just like the other guys doing. But just sitting back watching the game and uh, just becoming a better student of the game and leader. And, and what are some things that you're focusing on this summer in, in the in the workouts that the team is doing and the stuff that you're doing on your own? Uh, something I'm focusing on is just leadership, uh, holding guys accountable, making sure everybody accountable. Because once everybody holding each other accountable, we'll get pretty far. Yeah, I've I've always heard that is a is a you know is a sports writer is the best teams are the teams where the players really are the ones leading the the group that you know the coaches obviously need to be there but the the great teams are the ones where the players sort of take control. Do you get a sense that? This team has that capability from a leadership standpoint of uh, it being a player-driven program? Yeah, I think we're going to go pretty far. Once our leaders lead, and then everyone's following suit. So we already have a, a good coaching staff that's leading and uh, taking us, and we're taking the right strides in the right direction. So once we get the leaders to lead and everyone else to follow, we get pretty special. Naquan, who are some other guys that you lean on for leadership to kind of help you, uh, you know, with with the team? Uh, some guys on offense. I go uh, Anthony Richardson, Richard Garage, Keys, Kingsley. On defense, I go Ventrell, Jervon, Jason Marshall, guys like that. You mentioned Anthony. What strides have you seen out of Anthony Richardson this off season? I just seeing that he's ready to take that next leap, uh, get things going. What kind of chemistry do you have with him as a receiver? You mentioned, you know, obviously sometimes you'll line up in the slot, uh, and, and certainly you can be very effective in that role. What what's sort of the chemistry that you have uh, with Anthony? Uh, actually, right now we're just building it. Uh, during those off times and off days, we actually building it, getting the timing down and different looks on air without a defense being there. And and talk about this new facility. How how excited is the team? How excited are you to finally get the keys to that and be able to to start utilizing it starting next month? Oh, man, I, mean, I heard so much great things about what's going to be in there, how it's going to look. So I can't wait to uh, just be able to see how great this new facility is going to look. Uh, multi-million dollar facility, so I can't wait to go, go into it.
Do you think it'll have a big impact on prospects when they come to campus? You went through all that. You you went on visits. You saw you know everything. From your perspective, uh, you can certainly relate to high school seniors and juniors that are going to be visiting Florida. You know, uh, coming up. How, how big of an impact can it make uh, when you're going through that process and visiting all these schools? In your opinion, I think it's going to be huge, especially with the, the coaching side that we have. We already we already compete with the best with coaches. But once you go ahead and put a little icing on it with the stadium, it will definitely be huge, being that other schools already kind of got an edge on us with their stadium. So with, with us bringing in this new stadium and having all the different equipment inside of it, indoor weight room, uh, running for, running facility, different treadmills, a, a foot-long hot tub, and stuff like that so that would be pretty huge yeah absolutely you mentioned uh, a couple guys on the offensive line when we talked about leaderships King Kingsley and uh, Richard how is the offensive line developing in your opinion oh, they're doing great taking the right strides. strides I'm loving their leadership all those guys ex- very experienced played played a ton of football got a bunch of reps so it's on them now those guys are going to lead us and take us where we need to go Great stuff. Nyquan, how can uh, Gator fans help you out when it comes to NIL? Is there anything that, that is out there that, that Gator fans can support you through? Oh, uh, man, I'm about to drop some merchandise soon. So I'll probably just say support that. But mainly I'll just say, man, just support the Gators and the guys that has their merchandise out there. Or just even alone just showing a couple of likes on the Internet for our guys, show some support, or just being at the game. That would be huge, too. Yeah, absolutely. And and how can Gator fans find you on social media? On Instagram, bossman underscore five. But on Instagram and Twitter, it's the same, bossman underscore five. Fantastic. Well, Nyquan, I certainly appreciate your time. Can't wait to watch the team this year. Uh, certainly best of luck to you, and uh, we can't wait to watch you guys uh, this fall. So thank you, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll certainly look forward to talking with you again in the future. Thank you for the opportunity. Sure thing. All right, appreciate Nyquan Wright's time. Uh, hopefully he'll have a big year for the Gators. Hope hopefully you enjoyed that interview. Uh, really appreciate Florida uh, connecting us with a couple of players over the last two weeks. Rashad Torrance uh, last week, if you missed that, uh, go give that a look. He was great. And Nyquan Wright, obviously, this week giving us an offensive perspective. And uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. We've talked to Billy Napier, Scott Strickland, uh, Rashad Torrance, Nyquan Wright. Uh, we're really having uh, a lot of fun doing this. And uh, and obviously we also had the big recruiting episode when Marcus uh, Stokes, the Nice quarterback, committed to the Gators a couple weeks ago. Graham, it's hard to believe we're about halfway through this. I know. It's crazy. It's pretty wild. Which, which means that football season's on the horizon. It's getting close. That's right. Yeah, six episodes in. And uh, we're going to be doing this podcast going all the way up to the week of the Utah game. So, uh, you know, we, we still have a good ways to go and uh, certainly looking forward to bringing you more insights on Billy Napier and his first year uh, as he tries to build back the Gators. want to once again thank our sponsor, Harold and Harold. Again, 251-1111. Hopefully you won't need them, but if you've been injured, give them a call. Holt and Julie Harold, fantastic people from Jacksonville. Uh, they know everything that's going on. They're smart. They're savvy. Uh, they're going to treat you right. And, uh, you know, again, you couldn't be in better hands. Hopefully you don't need them. But if you have been injured, call Harold and Harold at 251 251- one 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 one. We really appreciate their sponsorship. This is the third straight summer that they've uh, sponsored our Gators podcast. We celebrated the 1996 national championship season, celebrated the 1991 SEC championship season, and this year we're certainly excited to give you a little bit more of a forward look at the program and really going into Billy Napier and uh, and everything involved in uh, Billy Napier's mission of of getting the Gators built back to elite status. So I'm Hayes Carline. Want to thank Graham Marsh once again for his fantastic work producing us. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you guys next week on Building Back the Gators. <laughs>